All right, today we're gonna see if we can't build an insert. We'll take this two and a half inch pipe, slide it into the uh, three and a half inch pipe, cut some notches and dimple it and uh, wrap it with fiberglass. Put a cap on each end and see what happens. I'm gonna start by hacking off a section. Might be just a tad long, but. Many thanks to Skip for loaning me the DeWalt. I bought a blade for it that cuts steel and it works really well. It's a little bit burred up on each end, just from the heat. Um, but it does work. All right, so we'll uh, go 90 degrees to that. And so 90 degrees to that is about right there. It's not rocket science. We're just trying to get it as close as we can. Almost red. I should have done. Let's see, that's pretty good. I forgot I had this Scotch Bright stuff, and I've seen them use that as well. So I'm gonna see what take one apart and see how easy it'll wrap around that. And I've seen them do that as well. All right, so they got the uh, end cap somewhat on there. I just tacked it on and put some steel wool around it and you know that might be the way to go i just went like this and i'll put in a couple more wraps put another cap on this end to keep it from getting sucked back into the turbo some strange way the turbo is only like that far away from it so we'll try that all right let's quick view on the of the uh Silencer, diffuser, resonator, I don't know what you're gonna call it. Anyways, this is what it looks like. So I added one on the outside, one on the inside. Uh, this will be the outside, that'll be the inside. Wrapped it in stainless steel wool, and then I'll wrap that in fiberglass. There. And uh, it, I'm I'll finish welding it, but I really just want to see how it's going to sound. I mean, just have to remake this whole thing, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. First couple of gear are going to be ugly because I just need to get it to stay put. And I can stay out in a circle.
So we got it cleaned up somewhat. And some of the spatter off of there, put it so that it'll seat. And we'll slide it back over the axle and back around. All right, so we got the wastegate in there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's pretty ugly, but it's really strong. It's just not gonna move. Okay, so we got a new insert here, a wastegate dump, but that won't really make any noise because we're not going to make booze. So, but this, the exhaust is sealed up, and this is in there. So I just kind of want to see the, the differences, and. Uh, Well, my DB meter was a bust. It wouldn't respond fast enough to catch the levels when I'm revving. But the idle levels told me that the baffle really didn't change the loudness of the exhaust. I did like the change of the sound. It made it less harsh, hollow, straight pipe, and more like a tone sound. I did like it better. But I'm going to try a couple things. Testing it like this at full throttle will be like calling the hounds for dinner. Well, the baffle comes in and out easy enough, so that's a plus. And maybe a more sophisticated one would come in handy at sound-limited racetracks or the street. The next install is going to be the scavenge pump for the oil return line. Well, so I don't have to drag a trash can around with me. It drains uphill, so it needs a little help. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and make a comment. I'm always up to listen to ideas. Catch you next time.